Nice. In the top left, the yellow Terran, it's Rock. And in the bottom right, the red Terran, Hermu. So, Hermu, Hermu, what do you think? Uh, I think it's I think it's Hermu. Um, and okay. I thought Hermu. Hermu. I thought Hermu was a Zerg player. Yeah, he was last season. He crushed me, that's for sure. Um, we played a. I think. I'm not sure if it was two matches or one match last season, but he definitely crushed me. That's all I know. <laughs> so I guess he's off racing this season because he was just too good, too good for CPL. Yeah, maybe he just wants to uh, like stay as a player, not so much as a coach. And... Yeah. yeah, nothing wrong with that. And it's a good way to learn another race, actually. Yeah, would you consider this a tier one match? Or um, I'm pretty sure Rock is tier two. I don't know about uh, Henry's uh, Terran, but I'll check that. Gotcha. I don't know if this is actually Rock SC. Um, oh, is it a different Rock? It may be a different Rock. Surely we only have one. Oh, you know what? No, I see him. There's a tier two Rock in Discord, and then I don't know where the other one is. I can't find it. Well, this is your domain, dude. TVT. This is this is where oh, you the live. The best matchup. The best matchup. The All best matchup, matchup dude. Be banned. <laughs> the longest matchup. Yep, that's right. I mean, PBZ can be pretty long. I think TBT has potential to end pretty quickly as well. Yeah, um, you know, but I feel like once you, if you stabilize and stuff and you get those tank lines, it's like, what do I do? Like, <laughs> Well, then you start doing crazy stuff like mass drops, like 10 dropships or more. Uh, you try and execute a bust and then everything dies, you know, that kind of stuff. Battle cruisers, nukes, all the, all the cool stuff happens in TBT. Yeah, um, gas is on 12, just like yesterday's TVTs. Well, Hermu actually got gas before barracks. He's going to go to a slightly faster factory charming, and this can actually be a two-fac opening. We'll see if he actually goes two-fac, because um, that's this is how you do it if that's what you're doing. Gotcha. Is that is that like a pretty aggressive build, you think? Yeah, 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 very aggressive. Like, there's, I guess, two variants. You can go two-fac vulture, which is a lot like what we were seeing yesterday. You just take map control and put mines everywhere, and if, if your opponent's weak at the natural, you can run in, plant mines in their tanks, and kill them. Um, the other variant is sort of more like a TVP 2 pack. You get some tanks, a couple of vultures, a few marines, and then you just try and like beat down your opponent with like pure force. So we'll see. He's definitely lined up to get the factory immediately. Um, Rock going for the more economical route, and it looks like how you'd open if you're doing a one pack expand. Uh, I mean that's not guaranteed, there's definitely different variations from what he's doing. But yeah, there's the first factory for Hermu, and he's still mining gas, so I'm pretty sure we're going to see a second factory pretty soon. In fact, that might be we while he's walling off. He wants to deny scouting of this. And once his Marine's out, maybe it can pick up this SCV. But I think I think Rock's SCV is going to live for long enough that he's going to he's going to see that the two facts going down. Either that, or Hermu's going to have to delay it quite a bit. Right. I mean, uh, the the fact that he still has three on gas might be like a big enough tell for him to know what's going yeah, on absolutely. here. Yeah, absolutely. It should be. Like, you see this, and you go, okay... It's one of two things. It's two fact, or maybe three fact, or either or uh, two port rafe. That's the only things it could be here. I mean, I guess you could go just like one port rafe, but I don't think you need all this gas for that. You just make a vulture, and one on gas is actually enough, and you get a CC. So I'm pretty sure it's it's it might actually be two port rafe because he hasn't actually got an extra factory at all. I think that's what he's going to do because he has his SUV positioned for a starport. Bam, there's the first starport, and he's the second. Okay, so nice. two port rafe it is. So if you knew it was two port wraith, what is your what's your response to that as the uh, as uh, rock? If you, I know one hundred percent, then yeah, I like that he's got the CC. I mean, I think this might have just been his plan, regardless of what he scouted though. You just get an eBay and an armory. You get turrets and Goliaths because once you've deflected their wraith pressure, there's actually like nothing they can do. Um, they can get on the map, and you can't really move out because you don't have global detection. But they're not going to have much because this is very expensive. He doesn't have a second CC. So you just make absolutely sure. And turrets just deny wraiths completely. Like, wraiths are so bad against turrets that you only need, like, one in each key location, really. Um, <laughs> if you think your opponent is doubling down, just, like, massing the wraiths, you can make a second. But, like, once you have two turrets, you're really not worried about any number of wraiths. Gotcha. So, so uh... I'm not sure Rock will have read that, though, because he, did, he didn't see anything else go down for his SCV died. He did see the extra gas, but I don't know. He's not making an eBay or an armory right now. Uh... He's just getting a second fac up, and he's going for a tank. I mean, I guess you still do want a tank, because uh, your opponent can make vultures, which is uh, Homo's doing. 
But I don't know. I don't think Rock realizes what's going on here. Yeah, he's going to realize pretty quickly here once this um, barracks flies into his main, though. Um, uh, that is nice, though. That's a, that's a good way to scout. Uh, let's hope he doesn't get deterred by that one Marine. Uh, another unfortunate thing here is if these Wraiths stay home, they can pick off that uh, barracks pretty quickly. Okay, an Armory is going down for Rock, so he's going to have the ability to produce Goliaths. But normally when you go into port, you go Cloak, and he has started Cloak. Uh, and there's no way to detect currently for Rock. He needs an eBay or an Academy pretty soon. Yeah, I think we'll Ooh. see that eBay come out here fairly soon. Uh, Rock's not going straight to the starports. He's not going to see it yet. That Marine... Okay, I thought the Marine was stuck for a second, but no, he's meant to attack for this. He's got to go in there and look for it. He's... Oh, I don't think he is going to. I think he's going to be deterred by this Marine just fly on out. Although, he does see there's no expansion, so he must know something's up. I don't know what his response is here. Oh, there's Glass like starting if... right now, so... Okay, so he, I think he has sussed it out, but he needs detection. Okay, he sees the starport now. He's going to see the control tower in a moment. And hopefully yeah. that'll make him think, oh crap, they're going to be cloaked. What do I do? Yeah, if Cloak I is... The starport re uh... Sorry, you go. Cloak is nearly finished here, and he doesn't actually have an yeah. eBay started. Um... Yeah, this could be brutal. This is going to be is really the, uh... bad. The Wraiths can pick off the guy building the eBay. He's going for the Academy instead to get Compsats, and that's fine. But the same thing, the Wraiths can pick it off. Uh, the SCV building that, and there's nothing you can really do. Um, yeah, sure, Cloak has limited energy, but you can do so much damage. Oh, he's going to fly right over this Goliath without cloaking. Okay, there we go. There's the Cloak. There he's going to pick off this Goliath. So I think this Academy will finish if he just focuses on this. But still, it's a little while for Scans to get up. And if the Goliaths are dead, I guess Scans aren't useful at all. He sees it now. I don't Let's like the fact he that decloaked it. there. I think decloaking was a mistake because the thing is, every time you cloak, it costs 25 energy, so you better off just staying cloaked, I think. Oh, and there's two Goliaths out, see? So he's just lost a lot of energy for no reason there, really. Right. Alright, Academy is finished. Comsats go down immediately, or at least one does. He really needs to start that second one, too, because one scan is probably not enough here. Yeah, this seems. <sighs> I don't know. Like, this doesn't seem as strong as I thought it was going to be. The Wraiths, you mean? Right. Yeah, they don't do very much damage, but he has five. That's enough to one-shot an SCV. Oh, no, not an SCV, sorry, a drone, so never mind. <laughs> I forgot, SCVs have 60 health. Uh, but see, look, now we can go to town these SCVs. All these Goliaths are dead. One's still out, but look how much mining time he's disrupting. And just, like, sort of putting his opponent's build on hold. The thing is, though, Homer has not secured his second base. He has a command center, but he needs to move it down. See, here's, here's the potential pick off a lot more SCVs, but no, he's flying past. I think he wants to try and deal with this move out from Rock. Yeah, um, I think if Rock just waits to get a couple more Goliaths and just pushes out, I think he might just be able to win the game. Well, the problem is he has limited scans though, so if Homeru Micro as well, he can bait scans and then just pick off the Goliaths once the scans are gone. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. And this is six whole wraiths, like, okay, definitely Rock can win with what he has in a straight up fight, but if the scan is late or he has no scans for a short while, Okay, two more Goliaths coming out, actually, so that's that's pretty good. And Rock getting Goliath range. By the way, Goliath range? Ridiculous. So good. He is the cloak. This game goes down, but it's late. He's already lost one Goliath. Okay. There are only seven Wraiths here, though. Goliaths are very strong against them. So at really what point see... um, Sorry, you go. would you stop making Wraiths and transition out of this? Or do you just not um, stop making them at this point? I probably would have stopped at like six. But it depends. Do you want to go like all in with it? You just keep sending Wraiths so you can overwhelm them. But yeah, if you want to transition, I wouldn't make more than six. And even that's probably like quite a few. I don't know. The thing is, you've got these two starports. So you sort of have to get the most out of them. I don't know, it's a difficult question. Apparently he has nine wraiths though, which is a pretty scary force. Very easy to pick off tanks with that kind of army. Yeah, he is uh, pretty low on energy here though. Siege mode coming Siege mode coming off the Hermu. Once he has siege mode and the wraiths, he can defend this uh, natural pretty easily. Oh, he's gonna see this army coming in though. Will he cloak? Oh, he has no cloak there. But maybe he can pick off these Goliaths. Oh, there it comes, it goes. Oh, I don't know. I think these guys can take him on, yeah. Yeah, Ooh, range just started his... Three wraiths there. I think range just finished as well. Um, yeah, absolutely. It did. And yeah, there's not much on the ground here for Homu, so this could be it. This could be what you were saying. Rock just pushing across and ending the game. But if he focuses these uh, Goliaths with the tanks, he may yeah, be able to just true. hold it off. That's true. If he gets the tanks and wraiths to attack at the same time, focus Goliaths down. Definitely doable. And he's sort of doing that. Well, Oof, four wraiths left and two Goliaths. 
Oh, the siege mode is out though, so I think he's actually mm. safe now. Yeah, these guys could get picked off if he's not careful. Okay, they do survive. So, Hermu barely holding on. Still definitely give the economic advantage to Rock, because his natural's been up for quite a while. Yeah, his third command center is on the way as well. Oh, that's pretty good. eBay coming up for Rock, and uh, you do want to put like a single turret around the place so that Wraiths can't just pick off your SCVs. Because um, sure, you can have all the Goliaths you want, but it's tough to position them everywhere. And if you have a single turret in the mineral line, you know that the Wraiths can't do anything. Yeah, he's um he's doing a pretty good job of transitioning out of this. Um, I think that I think that he's gonna be okay. I think he stabilizes here. Um, yeah, but if Rock can just set up this uh, location in front of the natural, Homo is completely contained on two bases. So, answer answer me this question. Um, if he continues to make Goliaths at like a ridiculous amount, right? Um. Is he at a disadvantage against, uh, say, like like vultures? Not vultures. Goliath's actually really good against vultures. Um, against siege tanks, though, yes. So at this like, point, I... like just making Goliaths is not really a mistake. Well, they they are not completely terrible against siege tanks. Like if you just have a bulk of them, you can break the tank lines. So yeah, I think it's fine. And yeah, they do crush vultures. Hidden third base coming out of um, here, right here. I think it's a good move, because he's totally contained, and uh, he knows Rock has the map control, so I think going for a hidden base is not a bad idea. He's going to see that Rock's getting his turret in the top right location. Uh, so Rock actually wants to go up to four bases, which I quite like. Uh, see, Rock's not sieging up here, he's just getting baited into siege range, if he's not careful. Oh, here's a drop coming out. Yeah, four Vulture drop. That could be pretty deadly. You pick up SCV so fast with that. Yeah, I've seen builds that literally just like open up with that. It's, uh, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, fourth base coming out here for Rock. I, I think he mm. he feels like he's in a pretty good spot. Um, I think he's right. He has he has his opponent all the way back in his natural. Oh, nice. He scans and picks up a ball today. Um, but yeah, when you when you're in this dominating position on the map, you do have to be very careful about drops because that's what a lot of players will do when they know they can't move out on the ground. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see how this goes here. Um, Rock's uh, what... macro is slipping a little bit. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, uh, he's been too focused on microing on this end of the map. I think. All right, the Goliath is actually out and picking off that dropship as soon as it comes in, but it does make it past. But I think this tank and Goliath picking this up. Siege mode is a mistake. If vultures come in and lay mines, okay, you know what? No, this is gonna be fine. If the vultures immediately pounced on that tank and laid mines, it could have been really bad. Okay, there's a mine. Ooh. The Goliath picking oh, it off, yeah, no problem. It's not quite... So that drop doing nothing, but he does keep the drop ship, which is nice. Yeah, he found out about this third base. He's going to send some glass down there to take care of it. Not really oh, anything no. that Hiramu could do about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. This CC might even die. Even if he lifts it, these launches, I mean, Goliath's probably going to pick it off, no problem. Yeah, this is... this really sucks. And he looks like he's going to try and move out with the vultures here. He doesn't even have speed, though, so it's a long no man's land crossing against these tanks, and they just get decimated. Yeah, I I feel like he's just trying to get something done here. Trying to... Yeah. Well, Hermes' options are running out. Basically, he has to either break this big contain in front of his base... Oh, he gets to take Siege, drop, though. Right? Well... Uh, only yeah, one. he's got vision now. Well, he's reducing that tank count. There's only three tanks there. I feel like his potential for bust here. If he unseages, sends all the vultures in first, lays a few mines, and has the tanks behind it, I think he can get out of this. Well, he has another dropship. He can also try and drop on top of these tanks. There are four Goliaths here. No, five Goliaths. So you know what? That's a terrible idea. Yeah, let's take out that, <laughs> that dropship yeah. pretty quickly. All right, he's going to send it off to harass instead, which could be really strong because there's nothing at this top right. And there's a lot of SCVs there right for the picking. Yeah, there's a few missile turrets coming down. So if he doesn't see this, if he doesn't react to it quick enough. Um, no, it looks like he's yeah, going to he drop did. just perfectly there. Cool. I think he knows the missile turrets are up because his Wraith died there before. Oh man, there's nothing here. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of damage. Nice micro moving along, picking off these SCVs. Man, so many dead. The reinforcements are here, but the damage is done. It'd be really smart if he retreated and laid mines now. Oh, he's exactly what he's doing. Nice work there. Yeah, so nice. this army can't really come in here and uh, 
take it out without a scan. And he can just camp his face. Oh no, the SCVs! Oh damn, so many going down. Wow, he's actually oh, going to pick up every single SCV yeah. there. That was Amazing a really good move. Homu has three dropships up now, so he could start picking up quite a lot of army and cause some real problems for Rock. Looks like he's oh, trying he's to break back a team. Try and break the I think he can do it here. He did need to lay mines though, and all his watches are dead already. He needs to bring everything. Bringing these small forces is not going to quite work. Yeah. But if he picks up all the siege tanks, uh... it's not really a contain anymore. It's just a small army standing here. And you know what? Those Goliaths are on hold position, and the tanks can actually just outrange them, even without siege mode if they're on hold position. Wow, looks like he's broken out. Yeah, um... Look at that tank count for Hermu as well. It's far better than Rock's tank count. Yeah, this is kind of what I was alluding to before. Um, the fact that he just he just kept on making um, uh, glass. And I, I guess yeah. when you're doing that, your gas is just a little bit too low to continue That's making right. too many tanks. Yeah. And the thing is, he got disrupted mining from this double gas over at this top right. So he's very low on gas, as you can see right now. Um, he only has four factories as well, which is a bit of a problem. If you look at Hermes base, he's got a much better macro setup. Although, I have to say, the SimCity is actually really bad right now. Tanks are going to get trapped from one of those factories. But nonetheless, he has he has seven factories while uh, Rock's sitting on four. And even on two base economy, four is not quite enough. He's uh, doing a drop over here in the top right. He's got three tanks in there and two vultures. So I think if he drops it right on top, he should be able to... Ooh, those something. turrets and a Goliath are there. No, this is actually getting taken out. Boom. No, it's Turrets a very good defense so from Rock, because Rock just can't really get on top of that. Yeah, he just loses everything. Man, Turrets are really, really good, aren't they? Hermu trying to secure this bottom left location again. A couple of Goliaths coming up, but tanks can take them on. Oh, these tanks are so low, though. Yeah, he Hermu just really needs to like. these tanks. Hermu needs to coordinate his army more. I feel like he's always sending like little bits everywhere. Uh, and look in his natural, how much he still has just sitting there for no real reason. He's got one siege oh, tank, and uh, this one's on the high ground, yeah. so it's... I'm just trying to send his reinforcements over, but he's going to have to cancel this CC. Another tank coming from the other side, too. Yeah. If these two tanks get sieged up, I think he'll be okay. Yeah, the, this number of vultures alone, I mean... Oh, actually, there's a lot of Goliaths there, and Goliaths are very good against vultures. We'll see if he can lay mines. He's not laying any right now. His vultures are sort of just getting cut down one by one. Yeah, these tanks are shooting tanks can do a lot of damage, though. Yeah, I don't know. Two more tanks coming up for Rock. I think I think oh, yeah, Hermes is going to get beat back here. Still five tanks sitting in Hermes main not being used. I mean, it's Hermes natural rubber. All that bolt is dead. Oh, losing another tank there is really painful. Yeah, he's really his, to. his tank count really has dwindled quite a lot. And these two other tanks... This is the tanks, end of the line for Homu. Yeah, is this a bad rally? No oh, no, never mind. He's just... He's well, just, I think uh, he commanded them over here, but he forgot all the things he commanded here as the part that's going on. I think it's over for Homu because he still has no third base. Rock's on four bases, and he's getting more factories up at last, so I think he's going to be a power up. Look at Rock's base. He really did not want to get Doom dropped there. So many turrets, oh my god. Yeah, he's even adding more on at this point. He's, yeah. He's got so well, much money he doesn't figures, know what to do with. I guess he figures the only way he can lose is if uh, Hermu just drops everything on his main. Uh, and that's that's smart, I guess. But probably a few too many. Like, you don't need this many. Unless unless he's, like, maxed and he has, like, 12 drop ships. This is just excessive, I think. Yeah, uh, Rock has been doing a pretty good job just, like with his uh with his base at home besides the uh you know the late factories he's been doing a pretty good job yeah. i think yeah and now he's got a few drop ships loaded up maybe he can come into homo's main uh pick up a lot of stuff i don't think he can win the game with this but uh every trade he gets is good because his economy is just so far ahead of homo homo's finally resecured this bottom left location he's still gonna try and get a cc there um i understand why he's avoiding the mural only because you really do need gas to make those tanks and such but uh, I feel like it would be better if he at least secured the base he could have secured, the mineral only, and uh, got that going. But hey, he's still going to get this location. No air defense there, though. Yeah, um, if... So, say he brings these dropships in here. Um, it looks like he's got four tanks. If he gets these four tanks sieged up, like, right in between... Not not right in between, but right above these, um, these factories, I feel like that's going to be a pretty hard spot to break. Well, Hermu has a lot of tanks down at the natural, though. And look, he's seen it. He's already coming up here. Um, oh, that's a nice drop timing, oh. though. Picking off that tank just as it pops out. And in fact, he's not dropping everything here. He's going to drop behind the natural, and that can be brutal. There's one siege tank defending, though. Oh, and that gets the first volley off. Mm. 
Yeah, see, all these tanks that uh, Hermu has at home can pick this off, no problem. But, well, the dropships get out. Yeah, three armories uh, for Hermu, I'm sure that was a mistake. But yeah, the dropships do get out, so it's not so bad. But yeah, not quite the drop he was looking for. Ooh, minefields going down. I like these minefields from Hermu. Oh, the Goliaths! Boom, down they go. Hermu actually establishing something... Some amount of map control of these mines. Yeah, <laughs> things are. This game is all over the place, man. I thought it was over a while ago. Um, yeah, and Hermes finally securing that bottom left, and he's got a fourth base in the works. I mean, Rock's still ahead by far, but in TVT, the defender's advantage is huge. Uh, just like to point out as well, Rock has plus two uh, already finished and plus three about to finish. Well, Homer is just on plus one, and he's not getting plus two, so that's a huge advantage for Rock. All oh, those mines. Okay, they, those mines actually just get picked off because there's so much here they can just easily snipe them. Yeah. Unfortunate. Just losing all these, um, all these uh, bullshits for free as well. Um, yeah. Well, he needs to siege up. Homer needs to siege up here. Well, he needs to get behind these mines and siege up. I think is the only way he defends this, but as long as he's not going to, he doesn't realize he has these units here. He's sending everything over for his natural, though, and that is a hell of a big army. That's a lot of tanks from both sides, really. This is going to be a big engagement. Yeah. Um... Oh, I think the bottom left goes down again because he's not positioned to defend. He's positioned to defend this mineral only. Yeah, if he sieges up some the of these third tanks. Time, yeah, for the third time, this bottom left base is going to get destroyed. There are three tanks here, but I think Rock can just power through because he has quite a lot. Well, actually, Homie coming up from the high ground. If he sees these tanks on the high ground... Oh, no! Huge shot with those plus three tanks. Takes out a couple of tanks of uh, Homies there. I still think it's possible, though. Yeah, the high ground... Oh, just yeah, the yeah. Right spot, He's going to lose oh, all these good. tanks. Man. But the CC's low. He's, he's focused on the CC for now. I don't think he's going to quite get it. Unseizes his tanks as well. Well? Uh, yeah, I think he can get this. Ooh, yeah, I think he will. Homie does have that middle only though, not many SCVs there right now, but he could start mining there more. And it does go down, ouch. Big blow against Homie there. Oh, and Rock's loaded up the dropships, he's coming in. Oh, brutal tank shot. Alright, takes it all out. Wave 2 is coming though, via air. There's no Goliaths here, he can just drop on top of these tanks. Yeah, this, this is just Goliaths. Um... Oh, he's on siege though, so this might not be as good. But that's a lot of lives. Tanks aren't that strong. And those upgrades yeah. actually really make a big difference. Yeah, the plus three is a huge deal here. Um... Mm. Oh. Homie froze out the GG there. I think that makes sense. Because he didn't have much mining going on. And that was the army he'd be building up the whole game, basically. He, uh... Where Rock, Rock has the economy to, like, build that army every five minutes. But Homie was building it the whole time. Dude, I am That's really fair. surprised by that GG, to be honest. Um, no, I think I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, he, he lost all his tanks, pretty much. And he didn't really have any way to rebuild them. Because he's on two gas, which are pretty much depleted. Alright, let's get into game two here. Alright. Uh, looks like it's going to be on Fighting Spirit, the classic game two. Oh my god. Why did you get <laughs> Fighting Spirit when you're the guy who went to Port Rafe? I would have thought you want like the cheesy map. You know, maybe he, maybe he felt like going to Port Wraith was the whole reason why he lost. Maybe he felt he was stronger in a longer yeah. game. He just um... well, I feel like he could have made it work if he got more mines out on the map earlier while the Wraith were harassing in the rock space and also just expanded faster. I'm trying to I'm trying to think if I can pin down like one critical mistake. I think I think a lot of it was when he's trying to break out of the contain, he would send small groups of units at once, whereas for a lot of the time, if he used everything at once, he could have broken out easily, but he just lost so many units for free that way. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, now they're back on fighting spirit. So, rock in the bottom left, homo in the bottom right. So, I don't even remember what I was saying yesterday. I think on this map, it's... Uh, very common to see a contain across the bridges and you contain your opponent on three bases so you have to be careful to avoid that we'll see what openings they do this time yeah um i actually kind of like that two starport wraith it was uh it was interesting like 
Like, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah, great. It's super easy to hold off. Like I, I can't really yes. imagine a like a point where you just lose to that. Um, well, unless you don't you have don't any detection. Coming, yeah, and you don't get an armory or an eBay. And the thing is, the wraiths can just camp around the uh, academy or eBay, and just keep picking off the SCV building it. And you can lose so many ACVs before you can do anything about it. Yeah, so there's not like a standard um, like defensive eBay timing or that no, like not holds really. it off. Okay. I, I mean I guess I'm no expert, but I don't think I don't think there's like a build where it's like, okay, you're playing blind, but you get this eBay at this time in case of two port rave. Right. Thing is, because that's that's like a big investment that doesn't do literally anything unless they're going rave. At least not in the early game. Right. Um, just both players just looking to scout here. Hamu not getting nearly, uh, oh, actually, no, I, I can't tell what he's doing because he's saving his money up. CC first, Surely maybe? he's not going CC first. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it can definitely work. Um, Rock getting his gas on top. Oh, no, there's the barracks. He's just a bit delayed. Okay. So he, he's doing a normal opening. He's just a bit delayed compared to Rock. Was that just a mistake on his part, or is there a reason? I think reason? it must have been, because I can't think of any reason he would have delayed that. Okay. And Yeah, but that's all right. He's got it down now. And it's not like, you know, Rock's Vulture being done one second earlier is going to make any difference. He'll be all right. I mean, that said, I should say to anyone like watching this, definitely try and get your timings, but I don't want to overemphasize it. He's not at a big disadvantage or anything. Looks like they're both going to scout last. <laughs> hmm. Or maybe he's just chasing this. I'm not sure what's going on with the probes. He might have seen the SCV the and uh, thought maybe it's going home. I don't know. Uh, Rock doing a wall up here. It is an SCV proof wall up, so he cannot be scouted. Hermie not opting for that this time. So maybe the shoe's on the other foot and Rock's going to do something crazy. He's pulling off gas though, so I expect him to see the one fake FE again. And it looks like Homu's happy to do that too. Oh, no, actually, no, I'm wrong. Homu's still mining double gas, uh, triple gas, rather. So maybe he's going to do the exact same thing. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're going to see two port Wraith again. I... Well, maybe that's why he's going to do it, because oh, he thinks it's unexpected. It's a two fac. Ah, Second factory okay. going up. Okay, so it's not going to be two fact vulture because. Uh, you want to get two machine shops immediately, and he positioned his factory so that he can't actually do that. So I think it's going to be the kind, the like the TVP sort of kind, where you get some tanks and some marines. In fact, he's still making marines as well, and a couple of vultures, and you just go in there and, and smash them. Okay, so this is kind of an all-in then. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in theory, if you kill a lot of SCVs but don't kill the guy, you could you could keep playing. But a lot of the time, it's do or die. Gotcha. Homie gonna lose the scouting SCB. Almost got that SCB within the CC. So yeah, what you really need against this is a bunker oh. just to buy time. Because um, obviously your opponent's gonna get siege mode and get that bunker eventually, but it buys you a lot of time to defend. Uh, but Rock has no scouting intel because there's marines at the ramp tonight, and very smartly is keeping his extra marines back because it would be a huge sell if you see more than two marines. Even two marines is like a bit more than standard. You only usually get one. So this second factory, is that a normal fa second factory timing um, when you're doing... For rock? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for rock? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so when when you expand, uh, usually if your opponent's gone gas as well, you have to get that second factory immediately because otherwise they can pick a lot of vultures. Speaking of vultures, it's coming up the ramp and it can... Oh, he's doing such good micro, but he's getting bad mischances and that vulture's not going to be able to get up the ramp. I don't think he even saw the extra marines. Oh, and Homer's rotating them. That's so sick. That was actually oh, really repairing. sick. Rock's repairing though. This is amazing from both sides. Like they're both going to be going like, huh, why isn't this dying? I don't think Rock has any ideas still. He's getting a wall against vultures, right? That wall protects against vultures, but if tanks coming into siege mode, that wall's actually a hindrance. Yeah, um, still nothing out of his machine shop, so. Okay, finally, Hermie's going to have to show a Vulture at least, but honestly, it's more suspicious if there isn't a Vulture by now, because normally you get a Vulture immediately with first back, so Rock's going to get up here, he's going to see everything. I think Hermie needs to pull the trigger right now and just get out there. Ooh, losing that Vulture it actually kind of sucks as well, because he really needs every unit he can get right now. But Hermie's dragging his feet, he really needs to be moving across the map right now, because every second counts, he's giving Rock more time to respond. 
Is he going to get that bunker? It looks like he is. Nope, that's an eBay. Okay, so he's going to try and just... Nope, he changed his <laughs> yeah, mind. Accidentally. Damn it, Rock, you're not making this easy. I... I think... I think Homo can still pull it off because there's not much defense here. And yeah. Rock's not really doing anything. Why is Rock moving out? That's the opposite of what he wants to do. He's going to get caught with this tank on the map and it's going to die. Um, yeah, this is really... This is kind of weird. Oh my god. Just a, Here it goes. a misjudge of what's going on, I oh. guess. He absolutely does not want this trade because he needs every unit he has. And there's now no defense at all. There's a tank popping out soon, but currently there's nothing. Oh no, and mines are going to be done in a second. If he can mine up that ramp, he can take out this base. In fact, he'd probably be better off trying to go up the ramp. Uh, who has siege mode, by the way, and Rock does not. Yeah, I, I don't see any way that Rock holds this. Um... No, he's dead, man. Half his CVs are down already. <laughs> yeah. There's one tank, one more producing, no siege mode. That's it. Yeah, dude. Wow, bit well, indecisive there. He didn't really know what to do when he saw it, so... Right. What he needs to do, you throw down a bunker and you land your barracks and start making a few more marines. Just to buy time until you get siege mode of your own. And you try and hold behind the bunker with your tanks or whatever you have. Oh, that siege mode for Homo is so strong. Siege mode is so good. These tanks can't even defend this wall because the, the siege mode just pushes them back so far. And now they're in. The wall is breached. Those yeah, good... Good siege position as well. I'd... Yeah, really good. Yeah, there's the GG. Uh, nice little timing from Homer. All right, brings it back. Yeah, let's go into game three, boys. Um, mm. Yeah, I think Rock just maybe got the wrong read or just misclicked his... Um, I don't know, he must have just misclicked or something like that. Um, mm. Well, and also, um, I don't really like the, the way he's executing his build. Like, uh, he needed to get... Well, okay, so when you open Gas Expand against Gas Expand, a lot of the time you just want to keep making vultures and get mines and or speed. Uh, but he went straight into tanks, which is fine. But I think if you do that, you have to get Siege Mode as well. And he did not have Siege Mode. Well, let's get into Game 3. Let's see if uh, Rock can maybe uh, pull it out here. I'd love to see Rock win. He's a yeah. good dude. He's the he's like the honorable macro player so far. May the best Terran win. Oof. Um, so it's Aztec. Hmm. I think this is Sylphid actually. Oh, you know what? You're right. It's two. You can't blame me for being confused though. <laughs> no, no, no worries. I, the only um, reason why I know that is because I saw it on the replay. <laughs> no, you're you're right. It is Sylphid. Now look at it because you can actually you can actually tell by uh, the sort of doodads around the place. Um, so Sylphid then, not, not Aztec. I'm trying to think how that would go in TBT. I've never played a TBT on this map. Um, all the bases are around the outside. I mean, that's true of most maps, but I feel like it's even more true on this map that you have this sort of like very open middle area and all the bases skirt the edge. Yeah, um, is this a two player map or a three player map? It's a three player map. So there's one spawn at 12 o'clock. Um, so. Oh yeah. Compared to, say, Circuit Breakers, where, sure, there's bases all around the edge, but you sort of have these uh, attack paths along the top and bottom, so they're still, like, avenues. And they are quite narrow, but in TBT it doesn't matter as much. You can still definitely uh, use them, so you have to seal those off. But on this map, it's sort of like just this one big basin in the middle with these high ground parts, I suppose, technically being like other avenues, but I count them more as part of the, the central area. So I don't know, I'm not sure how this will play out. Yeah, I wonder if Rock is going to get aggressive here. Hmm, it would be a nice deviation. Uh, Homer probably wouldn't expect it. Homer's saving up his money again. Will he actually go for the CC this time? Yeah, um... I think he is. Oh, no. no he's not... Every time I predict something. <laughs> okay, so... Maybe maybe I, I've got this wrong. Like, Homer knows more than me. But I think, I think you're supposed to get your barracks, like, as soon as you have 150 minerals. Like, does it really benefit you to delay it at all? I guess it doesn't really matter, but... If uh, your opponent's going like proxy two rex or something like that, I don't know. It might matter. Oh, Homu, sick SCV harass. He's gonna pick off this SCV building the barracks. That's huge. Oh, is he gonna get it? He does get it. Damn, that is so annoying. It's very hard for Rock to deal with this. He has to send another SCV, and he is. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna be able to get it up now. <laughs> Actually, SCV. I was looking at the wrong barracks. I literally missed the entirety of that. Oh no. Well. Rip. Maybe we killed one of Rock's SCVs, which is pretty cool. Just with his SCV. 
I'm interested to see if Rock pulls off of uh, gas here again. Yeah, I'd love to see him well, stay on it and do something cheeky. He's about satisfactory, I think. I might be too distracted by this SCV. Two SCVs coming out for Homo. I'm not sure what he's thinking of that. Is he proxying two factories? No, no, he's already started one in his main. I don't know what's going on with these two SCVs, man. I'm kind of scared. Oh, he's going to proxy double starport. Oh, man. Oh. He, I told you Rock was the honorable macro player. <laughs> this honorable Hermu coming into the double proxy starport. <laughs> oh, my God. That's actually crazy. I, I. Oh, no. Rock is proxying his factory. What? Ooh. Rock, be... dude. <laughs> okay, the thing is, we just called did you... he get his... Sorry, go on. No, we just called him honorable, and he puts up his yeah, that's right. factory outside. I, I think the idea is if uh, Hermu's going Rax expand, you can get a vulture there quicker than they think. But the thing is, uh, Hermu did get his factory. Although, he's going straight for double starports. Will he actually start a vulture? If he doesn't start a vulture, Rock's first vulture can come in here and do a lot of damage. And so far, he's not. Ooh. This yeah, could be brilliant. He just started it. So, he sh oh, okay. should be safe. Yeah, yeah, it started before the other... Rock won't be able to do anything with this then. Yeah. Um, but that said, I guess it doesn't really matter that much against uh, Chukot Wraith, whether he's factory here or not. Although, I suppose if I think about it, he can't get it home, because he looks off the race to pick it off. Okay, he's proxying his own starport! Are you kidding me? What oh is happening yeah, this is in this match? This is a huge advantage to Hermu, because he's going to have twice as many rapes, straight up. I like that little wall rock mate to make uh, Hermu think he's doing some macro play. First Vulture coming out. This Vulture can actually run by this, and there is nothing in the main, but Hermu doesn't know that. Hermu probably thinks Factory is in the main, so he probably won't try and run by. This Vulture's we'll gonna see. take out no, these. He's gonna go for it! Oh my god. This Vulture. Oh, this Vulture's in both bases! Yeah, this Vulture's in both bases. Oh my god. Well, let's see who deals more damage. Well, Rock's gonna lose oh, his almost instantly. Yeah, Rock is losing his. But so his. is Hermu, actually. So, eye for an eye there. Both SCVs going down. I mean, Vulture's going down. Man, that definitely could but have the been double rate way production. worse. Yeah. Okay, okay. Rock's starting his second starport now. But Hermu's gonna have a big edge there. Hermu not going for Cloak, though. So, definitely it's possible for Rock to fight back. Um, but Hermu lost both his Marines, didn't he? Whereas Rock still has one. Right, that is that correct. Not gonna work out. Yeah, so there'll be no anti air whatsoever for her move. Second star port's main. coming out of rock as well. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Man, what a ridiculous game this is gonna be. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't see how Rock can fight back though, because Homie's just gonna have the Wraith Edge. He's gonna need to pull off some good micro or somehow use this Marine in the bunker to his advantage. If, if Homie attacks that bunker, obviously, it's gonna be pretty bad for him. Oh, but this is this is tough because Hermu might just come straight for this Wraith in his own base and he'll fly over Rock Starports if he does that and then he'll just camp them. Nope, Hermu's going for the counterattack. Will he run into this bunker? No, it looks like he's going to go around it. Oh my god. I don't know how this is going to go if they just go for the base trade. Rock is supply blocked right now, unfortunately. Building another depot. He says D. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. It's just a happy face. I think I, I don't think you put the colon on there. I think it was from the chat system. But anyway, never mind. Uh, Rock pulling off all his SCVs. Oh, he's gonna hide around this bunker. That's kind of smart, I guess, because he can't lose any SCVs now. But he's right in the main, engaging one of uh, Homie's rays. Homie can just repair. Homie has also found the starports. So I think if Homie gets a superior ref count over those, it's gonna be game over for Rock. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's gonna pick off that one ray. Oh, uh, that's gonna be. That's close. So one way up for Hermu, but Rock needs to mine, that's the thing. He does not have enough minerals to produce another Wraith, so I think this might be it. Yeah, he's just going to send these Wraiths over here, and I think that's going to be game. He needs to tough it out with these SCVs and let them get shot at. I don't think Rock's dead yet, because he could still possibly get turrets up in time, or make more Marines, which he's doing. If he gets a bunker in the main, maybe? I mean, it sounds really weird, like making a bunker against Wraiths, but I just see what other choice he has right now. He's losing that Marine, that's unfortunate. We really need to keep those two Marines together. Ooh, I don't know. No, that's GG. Damn. Crazy yeah. game. That was actually a Crazy game. ridiculous match. Double, double proxy Stargate. Yeah. Rock, you it's, cheeky, it's... cheeky bastard. <laughs> you should have stayed honorable, Rock. You would have won, maybe. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, maybe. Um, oh. Uh, dude. Well, GG, guys. Um, that's if we... great, game.
yeah, if we casted your games today and you uh, and you felt that we did a terrible job, just let us know. Well, let me know. I don't know yeah, if even you... if it's not your game, just tell us we did a terrible job. Yeah, That's for sure. <laughs>